hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel make pm so in today's video we will solve a problem based on the compound gear trend so you can see there is a compound gear trend uh, what is the meaning of the compound gear compound gear is when uh, two or more gears are mounted on the safe shaft like you can see c and gear b both are mounted on the same shaft in gear e and gear d are mounted on the on the same shaft so what will we expect because b and c are on the same shaft and so it's their speed will be same because one gear will be rotate uh, one shaft will be rotating so both the gears will rotate with the same speed and similarly uh, speed of the gear d and uh, speed of the gear e will be same so let's read the problem a compound gear shown in figure consists of compound gear b and c b and c are compound so n b is equal to nc because they are compound gears and are mounted on the same shaft and de so de are compound gears so nd is equal to ne their speed will be same all gears are mounted on parallel shaft so they are mounted on parallel shaft okay the motor shaft rotating at 800 rpm so motor shaft is a so na is 800 rpm okay is connected to the gear a okay so this shaft is rotating at 800 rpm so if with this shaft at same speed gear a will be rotating at 800 rpm a um, gear a and output shaft to the gear f and output shaft is here so it is rotating with the same speed at which gear f will rotate so the number of teeth are given it is mentioned here also in the figure uh, respectively determine the speed of the gear f we have to find nf is equal to what okay so let's solve so as we know that speed ratio of speed is opposite to uh, ratio of the teeth so na divided by nb is equal to tb divided by ta because you can see that two gears are meeting here gear a and gear b so we will write in the ratio of a and b and a upon nb is equal to tb upon ta so na upon nb is equal to tb is what tb is 56 you can see here or in the problem also divided by 24 now similarly these two gears are meeting here gear number b and gear number uh, gear number c and gear number gear number d so nc divided by nd is equal to tc divided by td now you can see that uh, we have written here that speed of b and speed of c are same so we can write here in in place of nc we can write nb because they are same so nb upon nd is equal to tc tc is what sorry here it will be opposite td upon tc because we talked initially that number uh, ratio of the speed will be opposite to ratio of number of teeth so n nb upon nd is equal to td td is 80 divided by tc is 30 similarly we can write for these two gears here gear number e and gear number f are meeting so ne upon nf is equal to tf upon te now ne is equal to d and d we have written here so we can write it nd upon nf is equal to tf is 72 divided by nf is sorry te is 32 so from here you can see that if we multiply all the speeds na upon nb into nb upon nd 
from here into nd upon nf is equal to 56 upon 24 into 80 upon 30 into 72 upon 32 so you can see that nd will be cancelled with nb nd will be cancelled with nd so we will have na na is given already 800 divided by nf is equal to 56 into 80 into 72 divided by 24 into 30 into 32 if we multiply these and divide then you will get 14 so you will get nf is equal to 800 divided by 40 so after dividing you will get 57.14 rpm so you can see that speed of gear f will be 57.14 rpm so we have solved this problem already so i hope you understand this and uh, if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video